So when we look to accept teams into to Dream at Health and during the application process and review, um, we really look for three things that are critical. First is the quality of the team. Second is the idea, the problem that's being solved. It needs to be a big, big, significant problem in the industry. And the third is actually our ability at Dream and with our partners to help these teams move the needle. And with this next company, Tower View Health, which actually came to us from four different cities uh, where they were working in a virtual mode, you know, they had all these qualities in spades. They had a balanced team with complementary skill sets. They'd worked together considerably in the past and had a history of successful execution. They were solving a really significant problem that had been resistant to many other solutions that we've seen on the market to date. And it was certainly an area where the combined resources and experience of Penn and IBC could really help this organization. So just last week, they were uh, one of five finalists in a national competition held by Forbes, the 30 under 30. Some of you may have been there. And I hope in the next uh, you know, few minutes, you'll see why this team was the overwhelming favorite amongst the 1,500 attendees of that event. So please welcome Tower View Health. You don't hear that kind of positivity from Elliot all the time, so <laughs> thank you very much, Elliot. My name is Nick Valillis, and this is Rahul Jain, and we're co-founders of Tower View Health. Tower View Health helps chronically ill patients manage their medication. So this first picture was taken in May of 2012, uh, just a few days before I graduated from college. I still remember how happy I was on that day, uh, graduating from Duke, surrounded by my best friends, heading off to medical school. The second picture was taken only three months later. During my first week of medical school, I was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia. I spent the next month in the hospital undergoing a series of treatments that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. When my treatments were finally over, I was told to expect what cancer patients refer to as the new normal. Little did I know that the new normal looks something like this. 10 orange medication vials, seven of which I'm still taking nearly two years later, each with its own refill and dosing schedule. Despite every advantage, a strong understanding of my medication, and the support of my father, who ironically is a cancer specialist, I struggled on nearly a daily basis to take my meds. Multiple refills, complex schedules. It was simply overwhelming. I quickly discovered that I wasn't the only one suffering. One in three Americans suffer from chronic illnesses that require multiple medications, and 50% of patients don't take their medication as directed, resulting in nearly $100 billion of avoidable costs. The numbers were so staggering that we could hardly believe them. So we took a look at an average-sized insurance company. Four chronic diseases alone cost them over $3 billion in avoidable costs, just because patients aren't taking their meds. A problem this enormous is bound to attract other solutions, and we found many, just not a lot that were serving the needs of chronically ill patients. Mobile apps are a quick and scalable solution, but at the end of the day, they're just reminders. Patients still need to organize their meds. And after using an app, I quickly began abusing the dismiss button. After using my app, you can see I didn't really get much benefit. Single medication solutions are better, but how many expensive pill bottles do patients need to juggle on a daily basis? The answer is too many. Finally, medication dispensers are probably the best solution out there for chronically ill patients. But very few patients are willing to take the 30 minutes required each week to load their device. Worse yet, who's to say that the device has been loaded properly? None of these solutions are designed for the convenience of the patient. At Towerview, we've learned from our competitors' failures and addressed their shortcomings. Patients using our service receive a pre-filled medication tray from a pharmacy that inserts into our connected pillbox, like a K-cup, into a cured coffee machine. The pillbox can sense when patients miss a dose of their medication and sends an automated phone call or text message reminder to patients and their loved ones. For patients who prefer not to receive a phone call or a text message, our pillbox is equipped with video, with video and audio alarms as well. Finally, we partner with nurses at insurance companies and hospitals. Using our dashboard, nurses are able to reach out to patients who are continually non-adherent. So how does it work? A pharmacist fills the medication tray and ships it to the patient. 
the patient receives the tray in the mail and inserts it into their pillbox. The pillbox senses when the patient, patient misses a dose of their medication and sends them an automated reminder. Notifications eventually escalate to loved ones and nurses. Under the Affordable Care Act, insurance companies and hospitals have significant financial incentives to increase reimbursements tied to higher quality scores and to decrease costs. Because insurance companies and hospitals are willing to pay for our service, patients get it for free. We're college roommates turned co-founders, and with backgrounds in strategy consulting, computer science, electrical engineering, and medicine, we have, the, we have the diverse skills necessary to deliver on our vision. We're pleased to announce an agreement with Penn Medicine and Independence Blue Cross for a 200 patient paid rollout. The data and feedback generated will pave the way for larger rollouts at Independence Blue Cross and other health plans across the country. We're also engaged in discussions with Kaiser Permanente, Sintera Health, Harvard, Emory, Geisinger Health System, and Jefferson, right here in Philadelphia. We're looking to raise capital and meet additional health plans who share our vision to improve medication adherence. If you're excited about what we're doing and want to learn more, we'd love to chat with you after our presentation. This month marks the two-year anniversary of my cancer's remission and the launch of our product at Penn Medicine. And I can't think of a better way to launch our company than getting our, patient into, our product into patients' hands. Thank you very much. <laughs>